You're watching women's college lacrosse on ESPN as today here in the Nutmeg State, it's a pair of NCAA tournament teams squaring off as UConn start their 2024 season against the reigning MAC champions in Fairfield. Hey everybody, welcome inside Rafferty Stadium. I'm JJ Duke. Thanks for taking part of your day to join us here for this one. And when UConn and Fairfield square off against each other, always expect goals. These two teams played a high-scoring thriller up in stores last year where UConn won it in overtime by 18 goals to 17. When we take a look at our players to watch for this one, expect a lot of goals from these two players. As first for UConn, the outstanding attacker in Kate Schaefer. Schaefer last season was named the Big East Co-Attacker of the Year. She enters this season with 172 career points and a player that had a 10-point outburst against Fairfield last season. Meanwhile, for the Stags, the second team all-max selection in Elizabeth Toledo, getting her season off to a great start with three goals and two assists in a 17-16 loss on the weekend at Holy Cross. And she's just only two points from hitting 150 in her career. And if she goes, the rest of the Fairfield team goes as well. Moments away from opening draw here from Fairfield, Connecticut is... In and amongst that scrum, Laura Field in her ninth season as the head coach of Fairfield Women's Across last year's MAC Coach of the Year. One victory away from tying Mike Waldvogel for the all-time wins leader for Fairfield Women's Lacrosse. However, she knows that today could very much be a momentum turning day for Fairfield after what was she called a poor display at Holy Cross in every phase of the game, despite her team putting up 16 goals. So now UConn woman up here. Fairfield will have to release down a player. There's about a 12-second differential between the expiration of Lee Myers' yellow card and the end of the first quarter. And you bet that Fairfield's not going to be in all that much of a hurry, especially down a player. But Toledo finds a seam and scores. Well, sometimes if you find that little pocket of space, you attack it. Beautiful feed from Grace Slater in Fairfield. Now three straight goals. Just a good team goal as well. And again, you're, you're wondering at that stage, do you just hold and let the yellow card, or I should say the possession, go late? No, if sometimes you just anticipate that double coming, and that's what Slater did. It was late, and Toledo drives... Beautiful catch and finish. Toledo getting her first of the afternoon. Her fourth goal of the season. Now a huge face, or excuse me, a huge draw control coming. I apologize there. Huge draw coming now because if you're Fairfield here, if you win this draw... You can hold for the last shot. There's a 12-second differential now between the end of the yellow card and then the quarter ending with Elizabeth Toledo. Foul on Maggie Lonsinger. The last couple of seasons as Lawn Singer to injuries, but a couple of games in her career. Good to see the number two in the Yukon jersey back out. Toludo gets past one, rolls past another. Toludo does it on her own. Oh, what a goal from Elizabeth Toludo. Just going right by a few defenders and the second woman down goal for. The upperclassman on the day. Well, first she takes on number one. That's Megan Whitley. Then hits him with the dodge. Waves by to Riley Daly. And then before Lonsinger could step out, deposits it. And Toledo now with a couple of goals. Twenty-three seconds left on the yellow card to Myers. That's where this draw can be really crucial for UConn. If they can get it here, they can still, at minimum, sustain some wave of momentum. The one and one and start off their home season right. Team 
mobbing Claire Morris, making nine saves in a Rafferty Stadium debut. Grace Slater with four goals and an assist, two goals each for Amanda Kozak and Elizabeth Toludo, three assists for Libby Rowe. And you bet that that team for Fairfield, that they didn't get to really practice all that much yesterday with the half foot of snow that came down. A little bit of the cage animal energy. Well, they came here today and got themselves a win by 11 goals to nine over UConn. Four goals for Rhea Davis, four goals and an assist for Susan LaFountain. Fairfield back in action on Saturday against Albany. That'll be at 1 p.m. I'll join you for that one. So for our entire crew, I'm J.J. Duke saying so long from Rafferty Stadium as the Stags win a nutmeg state rivalry matchup, knocking off the 24th ranked UConn Huskies by 11 goals to 9. We'll talk to you all next time. It's a snow-filled women's lacrosse Saturday between the Fairfield University Stags and the number 23 Albany Great Danes. Albany coming in at 0-2. They've lost to a couple of ranked teams to begin the year. Fairfield, on the other side of things, comes off the heels of their first ever nationally ranked victory, 11-9, over number 24 UConn on Wednesday. Jacob Crumper, Brindley Anderson here on ESPN+. Plus. Thanks for spending part of your Saturday with us at Fairfield. And mentioned their first nationally ranked win and a chance to do it not just twice in a year, but in back to back games. Yeah, the Stags opened up the 2024 season with a tough one goal loss to Holy Cross, but bounced back in a big way on Wednesday with that UConn win. Plenty of star power on both these teams for Albany. It's Katie Pascal, the reigning America East midfielder of the year. She's also the all time points leader in Albany women's lacrosse history with 246. Yeah, Katie Pascal, last night named to the Tawaraton watch list, highlighting the best 50 women's lacrosse players in the country. Just the fifth Albany Great Dane ever to be named to the Tawaraton Award watch list. As for Fairfield, on the attack, it's Elizabeth Toludo. Better than 50 points a year ago, a second-team All-Mac honoree. She's preseason All-Mac. She brings a lot to the table for Fairfield. Yeah, Toludo, a grad student for this Fairfield offense, like you said, led the Stags last year with 53 goals, so they're going to look for her on offense today. Got a great one in store between the number 23 Great Danes and the unranked Fairfield Stags, but it's Fairfield coming in with the win between these two teams. It was more. It was more history on Wednesday than just the first ever nationally ranked win. Stags head coach Laura Field in her ninth season tied the program record with 92 career victories and a chance to be all-time winningest coach in Stags history after today. Coach Laura Field always seems to have her team playing their best lacrosse in May when it comes to MAC tournament time, but it starts with ranked opponents like Albany and UConn, as we saw on Wednesday, getting this good competition in early February, so they're ready for May. Fairfield at 1-1, one one, Albany at 0-2 oh midfield at Conway Field at Rafferty She's Stadium. Assist, Whistles blown, ball is up, and scooped up on the far side by Libby Rowe for the Stags. Fairfield going right to left today in the white tops and bottoms, red numbers and letters on the front and backs of the jerseys. Coming off the heels of an 11-9 victory. Beat over the middle, Kozak shoots high and gets it to go. Early action for Fairfield. Just 22 seconds in, they lead it 1-0. This is a great start for this Fairfield team. Like we said, coming off an awesome win on Wednesday against UConn. You don't want to have any layover, so you want to come out strong, win the first draw control, and get the first tally of the game. Seventh goal of the year for Amanda Kozak. Came in as the team leader in goals with half a dozen. And she gets the party started early. Great sign to see some of that momentum is carried over from Wednesday's win for the Stags. The draw going to be a big part of today's game, as in, it is in every women's game. But a the goal they gave up on the first possession. Albany opening today's game on defense in a zone. So for Fairfield, what's critical of going against a zone is quick ball movement and cutters in the middle. You're not necessarily going to beat a zone with too much 1v1 dodging. So the Stags, good ball movement here. Toledo with the slingshot, and she scores. 2-0 Fairfield, 13-22 to go. 
and you saw that tic-tac-toe passing over the middle. Delito was leaking in front of the crease, and she got it to go past Grace Sinsabo. Good ball mo movement here by Fairfield, drawing the eyes of the defense, and then Toledo just slips in. Nice stick side goal. She gets this Fairfield team going up 2-0. We've seen Kozak and Toledo. Let's look at the rest of the Fairfield starters today. On the attack was Libby Rowe, Grace Slater, and Elizabeth Toledo. In the midfield, Maggie Fort, Bryn Donnelly, Christine Fabrizi, Lee Myers, and Riley Harrell. The defense who hasn't Needed to do all too much yet. Lindsey Barnes, Julia Rigalizzo, and Macy Daly. And then, of course, Claire Morris, the Ohio State transfer in cage. You want to stay spread here as a Fairfield attack. Work the ball. Similar to what Albany is playing in that 7v7. They're in a zone. They're kind of shelling that 8 meter. You want to move the ball quickly. Try and find that open player in the middle. There she is. Elizabeth Toludo spinning in front of the crease for her second goal of the afternoon. And Fairfield's back in front. Great cut there by Toledo. As we said, that opening is going to be in that middle of the cage. She turns, fires past Sinsibo there. Good patient approach by Fairfield. And it's knowing what you want to do with the ball when you catch it that close to cage. Not a second to spare before she made that quick turn over the left shoulder. And that shot is just so pure. Firing darts at the back of the net. Toledo's got seven on the year now. Tied for the team lead with Amanda Kozak. Toledo, who has led this team in goals each of the last two seasons. Had 53 a year ago, 48 back in 2022. Definitely a player Albany doesn't, they don't want to leave anybody in the middle, but definitely not Toledo. She's a seasoned veteran. She knows what to do, like we said, when she catches, she, she, she takes a shot right in the middle of that eight meter. Calls there with this new rule. Toledo cutting to the crease, stymied by the defense. The shot went wide, and she's going to earn another free position opportunity for Fairfield. There was an extension on the check there from Delilah Mile. And now you've got the ever-dangerous Toledo at the 8-meter mark. Dodges toward Cage. Shoots high right and a hat trick for Toledo. Less than 20 minutes of game time in. She's got three today. And now eight on the year. We saw Toledo's first free position goal of the game. She did a quick trigger off that line. This one electing to take it in. She let the Albany players crash almost on each other. And then she was able to protect her stick and get a nice shot off. Just continues to impress, and it's one thing to get the opportunities that Fairfield has, whether it be at the eight meter fan or on these woman ups. But converting on them is how you pull off, I guess, these upsets. Fairfield is a tremendous team. Versus number twenty three, they're not very much of a dog. But when you play a ranked team and you're not ranked, generally you are the underdog coming in, and they proved to find better success against UConn on Wednesday. They found great first half success here against Albany but plenty of lacrosse to go with 10-24 remaining in the first half. Yep, luck. Fabrizi goes for Kozak. Skips over to Rowe. Fairfield looking to get that goal right back. Feet over the middle. Quick one-timer in there. She goes. 8-5. to five. Fairfield back up by three. Good pass here from number 18, Grace Slater. I was just mentioning, or I mentioned earlier how she had four goals, one assist versus UConn. A little quieter today in this first half, but able to find Toledo cutting across the middle. The fourth today for Elizabeth Toledo, who just seems to be in the right place at the right time, every time down the field. And a big answer for the Stags, and those are the kind of momentum stoppers you need we're trying to take down these ranked teams. We saw it Wednesday and back at it again today. Toledo, such a high lacrosse IQ. We've seen a ton of her goals kind of right in the center of that cage. That's because she knows when to cut. She's reading the defense. She's reading her fellow attackers. It might look easy, right? She's catching right in front of the goal and able to finish, but that's doing a lot of work in prior possession to get that open. Freeing herself up. A battle in it enough. Clock is off. They have 25 seconds to go. Here 
Here's Harrell. Swings it over the top of the defense. Tic tac toe over the middle to Ludo again. Didn't need all 25, just took 16 of them on offense. And the lead continues to grow. It's nine to five, stags in front with just seconds remaining in the first. Five first half goals for Elizabeth Toledo, just remarkable. This was such good ball movement by the Stags offense, able to find Toledo in the middle. And a lot of her goals, as we've mentioned, in the middle, but she's changing up her shots. She's going high, she's going low. That one she faked, sent it offside stick of Sensibo. Really nice first half for Toledo. I mentioned Rowe had her 100th goal this year. Toledo hit that mark last season. She's got 117 in her career now, if you count the five today. We saw dominant first halves from individuals in the last meeting between these two. Albany and Fairfield played for the first time ever last season. And Katie Pascal, she had nine points in the day, seven of them in the first half. The possession a lot. About 30 seconds longer for the Great Danes. Over the middle. Quick turn and a shot to Ludo. Continues to find the soft spot in the Great Danes defense. Another turn and fire here from Toledo. Albany losing her in the midfield. I said, you never want to leave any player open, but definitely not a player like Toledo. Five first half goals, one assist. She's got that sock trick, double hat trick. Six goals on the day. She's outscoring the Great Danes. Still 6.35 to go. Plenty of time to add to that tally for Elizabeth Toledo. Of the day, 16 of them are unforced. A stat coach, Katie Thompson, not going to be happy with, especially playing... A team like Fairfield, they're able to, able to capitalize on those turnovers as they've done all day. Dodging is Toledo. Defender falls. She gives it up to Kozak. Shuffle pass for Toledo. Another shuffle in front. Scoop shot and a score. Quick response for Fairfield. Brooke Marotti tiptoeing around the crease. Got the feed from Toledo. And the lead back to a touchdown for the Stags. I said in the first half, one of those goals, the prettiest of the day for Fairfield. Nope, this one the prettiest. An awesome feed by Toledo. Just a good, I said, she's a high IQ player. She knew she didn't have time to switch to her left. She shoveled it over to the open player on the crease. And another good fake high shoot low there uh, for the Fairfield offense. First of the game for Marathi. Fourth of the season. That assist for Toledo. Gives her eight points on the day. Now too shy of tying a program single game record. A stat coach, Katie Thompson, not going to be happy with, especially playing a team like Fairfield. They're able, like, able to capitalize on those turnovers as they've done all day. Dodging is Toledo. Defender falls. She gives it up to Kozak. Shuffle pass for Toledo. Another shuffle in front. Scoop shot and a score. Quick response for Fairfield. Brooke Marotti tiptoeing around the crease. Got the feed from Toledo. And the lead back to a touchdown for the Stags. I said in the Fairfields just had the edge in the stack categories that matter. I think one big thing that Albany will look at is those unforced turnovers. Fairfield able to rein those in. They had less cards, put themselves in less woman down situations. Barn slips near the end, but it's not going to matter. Clock strike zero, and the Fairfield Stags for the second game in a row and the second time this week knock off a nationally ranked opponent as they take down number 23 Albany, 
15 to 10 here at home. That is the 93rd career victory for head coach Laura Field. Which makes her the winningest coach in Fairfield women's lacrosse program history. Congrats to Coach Field. What a way to do it for Coach Laura Field as we see their second straight win versus a top 25 opponent. Their first ever coming in that Wednesday win versus UConn. They back it up with an awesome win here today against a really good ranked Albany team. Coach Laura Field, so well respected in the lacrosse community. Just an awesome honor for her. You see her team super excited. Just statement win after statement win to begin the year after a loss in the opener to a Holy Cross team that Fairfield definitely had the ability to beat. You win a defensive-minded game Wednesday. You come out with 15 goals today, leading from the get-go against the number 23 team in the country. You're above 500. Your schedule honestly gets a little bit easier going forward. Nobody ranked left scheduled as of now. Obviously, things can change. But a great performance for the Stags today. They were led six goals by Elizabeth Toledo. Elizabeth T Toledo, awesome performance today. Six goals, adding some assists, causing some turnovers, doing a little bit of everything for this Fairfield team. But it was, again, as we mentioned, a lot of shared opportunities for this Fairfield team. A lot of goal scorers. We see Toledo here. She found herself open a ton in the middle of that cage, able to put it away. Nearing top 10 all time in program history and goals is Elizabeth Toludo. She's now just three shy from hitting that mark with that sock trick today. Libby Rowe had a couple of goals, a hat trick for Amanda Kozak. And then on the Fairfield side, Katie Pascal showed up as per usual. Three goals, two assists. And Chloe Roos, the only other multi goal scorer for Fairfield. Fort Albany. But it was Fairfield today, 15 to 10, their second straight nationally ranked win for Brindley Anderson. I'm Jacob Krumberg signing off.